Leo's my little lions okay um I know this is the moment you've been waiting for your next reading <laughs> um yeah so um and I'm excited to deliver that for you here hold up my candle needs a little draining losing life <laughs> I was like wait um I like to burn my candles a little hot sometimes <laughs> um just sometimes, okay? It's, I know the low burning candle lasts longer or whatever, but I got money for more candles, you know? <laughs> um, so, anyway. <laughs> Back to this. Um, you understand. You're a fire sign. You understand. Okay, like... Sometimes I just need a little extra fire, okay? You get it. I feel like you do. Um, you're probably a little pyro yourself. Um, I don't know. I just love fire. Somebody told me um, once that they thought that fire, like all the fire in the world, was composed of one soul uh, being fire. And I was like, you know what? I kind of love that. And like, if you think about it, like fire is the ultimate, like, spy <laughs> like it, it is there for like all the most intense conversations like we have fire pits we have barbecues we have candles you know it's there for all kinds of things and it witnesses so much and I just I love the idea um I don't know the validity it's just kind of an idea or a claim but I I like it it resonated with me. It hit me different. I'm like, yeah. Like, Calcifer from uh, How's Moving Castle. I don't know if you're a Studio Ghibli fan, but, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll get to your reading. I'll stop talking. <laughs> Although I feel like some of you might appreciate that I do talk to you a little bit extra. Um, okay. Okay, Syrians, artistic, integrity, and honesty. I like that. Um, you know, I would have to say that this is pretty true. Um, for, like, every, every Leo I personally know, I see this to be a truth. Um, I, like, I know some Leos who just have, like, the most genuine fucking personalities. No, I'm like, damn, like... It's so awesome. And then they've got this rough exterior where they could whoop somebody's ass with their entire mouth, but then it's like, but at the same time, it's like, they're just, they're, they're good. <laughs> you know, they're good. Um, I don't know. I like, I would never want to cross a Leo. <laughs> I've been yelled at by one once. <laughs> it was not fun. It made me cry. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's a whole different story. Um, I deserve that, actually. So, just saying. Okay. Maybe if these cards would stop playing at me and at the table. Um, okay, so we've got a star seed up in the mix. Um, yeah, so this is all about, um, like, self-love, um, self-care, memories like nostalgia and really um really getting in touch with your identity right um and then we've got the ebens uh mystery reading between the lines and intuition Ooh, i like that using your discernment really seeing the forest for the trees right that's the leos i know um it's like you're starting it's like you're starseed, okay, so it makes sense that you would have a very active, uh, third, third eye. So it's like, um, people just can't bullshit you, right? You just don't, you don't take bullshit, you, you, you see it from a mile away, right? Um, probably not always, there are some, some moments where you might be a little bit blinded to the bullshit, but I feel like in this case, like, your discernment is really on point. Like, you're really, um, reading between the lines. Using your discernment, your intuition about something. 
We're gonna dive deep into that. <laughs> we gonna find out. Oh, let me turn off my thingy. Um, I love how the candles, when I get close enough, it kind of looks like I'm like telling a scary story in the dark. Um, like, uh, like a ghost story or something with a flashlight. I don't know if you did that as a kid. I hella did. Um, some dumb stories, <laughs> but they were cool, okay. Don't judge me. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's see. And these cards have something to say to you. All right, um, let's find out what it is. Um, so, Nine of Wands. Okay, this is really interesting. Um, so we're coming towards the ending of a cycle here, right? And Wands is all about, um, like, communication, honest communication, and, uh, discernment, and it's like, I feel like you're coming to the conclusion of a situation because you're starting to see a truth. Like you're seeing a snake <laughs> in your midst. Um, yeah, Seven of Wands. You're choosing a path right now. Um, you're making decisions about like which fucking way you're going, right? Five of Swords in reverse. You're no longer conflicted about something. You're just kind of like, you're living your truth. I like this. Um, strength in reverse. Okay, so this is another Leo card, right? And it's in the reverse, so it's kind of like saying that um, you might not be feeling completely up to par. Um... Like, you're not fully embodying your energy here. Um, but we're going to dive deep, so don't even sweat that. And then we've got the star, the Aquarius card, right? And it's like reaching for that light in the darkness, being really hopeful about something. Um, one thing is, like, in this card, you see, it's, it's the Aquarius symbol of a woman, like, uh with her jars of water and she's like pouring it out onto the land, right? And it's like, she gives her love at her, um, at her, uh, what is that fucking word? <laughs> oh my God. Um, oh my God. It's such an easy one. This happens to me almost. It happens. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, so at her discretion, <laughs> at her discretion, she gives out her love, um, but she bottles up that shit too, like, so it's all bottled up, it's like, she holds on to it tight, and it's like, under the right circumstances, she's like, all right, let me pour some of this love out for you, <laughs> you know, you, you want a little bit, you get a drink, okay, um, but it's like, uh, yeah, and so, Okay, let's keep going. Um, yeah, Six of Swords. Um, yeah, this is about coming together, right? Um, in communication. This is like, uh, like building a friendship, kind of. Um, it's like, and, and it's an honest one, right? Like, this is like, like there's transparency here. Um, do, 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 do. sorry, I like to, I like to move the cards around so I can see the whole picture, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, I really like this deck, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with it for a while, I usually, I like to switch around, but I just, I feel like this one, this one's solid, <laughs> this was a gift for my Leo friend, Adrian, thank you, um, I know you were out there watching this, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, super awesome. I love this, um, and it's, right now, it's my most used deck. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already starting to get the shuffle bend. 
That's how you know a deck is loved, right? They get that shuffle bin. Like, my Thoth deck is all fucking... I don't know if you can see it. It's like, well, kind of. <laughs> but it's all bent out of shape. But it's like, it's perfect for shuffling. It makes it like, it makes it more pliable. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to clarify all this shit. Um, let's clarify this Nine of Wands. There's a snake in your boot. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, this might have to do with, like, um, like, you're not quite at the end of this cycle. You're not quite at the 10. You're not at the Ace yet. Uh, <laughs> it's like... It's like, I feel like you have a karmic thing that you've, you've got to kind of work out here. Um, and it's costing you, <laughs> it's costing you, um, financially. It's like, um, it's like, a almost a bad investment, I would say. I don't know why that's, like, coming to mind. But it's, it's not really, like, an investment investment, because it's all about communication and, like, somebody being shady here. It's like... Somebody trying to take advantage of you, and I think that's also where, like, this, uh, reading between the lines and discernment is kind of coming into play. And you're just kind of like, there's a snake in my boot. I think you're just kind of, like, seeing it. Um. I'll whoop their ass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, honestly, I think, and you know, it could be just, like, it could be a friend or something. Something that feels like it's costing you, though. It's like, maybe... You know what? I'm going to re-clarify this. I'm going to clarify it again. Because I want to I wanna dive a little deeper into that. It's like, you're coming towards the end of this thing, but not necessarily entering in your new cycle. And it's like, when you do get to the new cycle, it's like... You know, start bringing in a lot of abundance for you. Um, but it's like, there's some karma that needs to be paid up, right? Um, I think my last Leo reading was all about, like, very large karmic debt. And it's kind of like, I feel like you're paying that. <laughs> um, you're coming towards the end of it, though, with all your new realizations and all your new stuff that you're kind of, like, discovering about yourself. Um... So yeah, let's, there we go. Um, yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Uh, yeah, you're, you're still in that cycle. You're still needing that cycle. Um, you have a lesson to be learned. Um, maybe it's not costing you financially, but it's costing you in something, right? It's costing you in some kind of energy. Finances are energy, right? Money is energy. Everything's energy. So it's like, um... It's costing you your beginning. It's costing you your beginning. With these two aces in reverse, that's what I'm seeing. It's costing you in your beginning. Um, it's like you have to completely face reality. Um, you have to completely face something here. Um, to start anew. Um, there's just... Something. I, I honestly recommend talking to your guides. <laughs> like, really ask the universe, your God, your angels, whatever you believe in, um, to really uh, help you assess what needs to be paid, <laughs> what hasn't been paid up yet. Like, why, why there's still some suffering happening, right? Like, um, because it's not necessary. Um, but... It is. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it is necessary. Um, maybe I jumped the gun on saying it's not necessary. It's, um, we all have to go through that sometimes. But there's, like, a karmic thing here. Um, your pain. Anyway, Seven of Wands. Uh, let's clarify that. Choosing your direction. Really, um... Yeah, really deciding on something here. What is that? 
picking a path. Um, what you want to manifest. Ten of Cups in Reverse. So it's like showing me that the path you've chosen um, where you're at right now with kind of like paying up your karma and stuff. It's like it's costing you um, emotionally. Um, it's like the path that you keep going down it's like you haven't learned yet <laughs> that this is the root of your suffering. And that's why you keep going into this karmic pattern. Um, very interesting. You know what? Maybe I'm going to do double fucking clarifiers on all this shit. Um, I might make this into a two-part um, reading. If I do, um, it takes a couple hours for each upload. So it'll be like couple hours after this one is posted that it's made available but I can um but it'll be there so yeah if you subscribe you'll know when I when it comes up uh otherwise I mean I'm I don't if you choose not to subscribe that ain't gonna hurt my feelings I ain't gonna know <laughs> so um but yeah just uh if you if you want to know um because I just feel like this is this is going to be a long reading. You're going to need an extension on this reading. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go back to that Seven of Wands. The Hermit. Yeah, you chose a path that leads to kind of like loneliness. Like instead of your Ten of Cups, your full abundance, your happiness, your your love. It's like you chose, um, you chose to be alone, which is totally fine. Um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, like, I fucking, I've done that. <laughs> I'm doing that. So it's like, um, you know, whatever the case is, uh, on the flip-flop, it could be the energy of somebody you're dealing with. That is choosing this because you know I'm just reading energies here. It could be somebody that is predominantly on your mind who has chosen that um, that path. Um, so you know, put the energy where it resonates. Um, but anyway, so five of swords in reverse. Um, yeah, it's like. Not wanting conflict, not wanting, um, not wanting to feel this, like, like you're living in a battle, <laughs> you know, right? That's kind of where I feel like this choice is coming from, it's originating. Um, you feel like this is the peaceful option. And, sure, it might be peaceful, but... Is it the prosperous option? <laughs> you know, uh, or vice versa. Put it where it belongs if this is the energy of somebody you're dealing with. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So we got five of wands. Um, and then six of wands in reverse. Okay. So this is really fucking interesting. Okay, five of swords is like saying, like, you don't want conflict or whatever. Five of wands is like saying, like, or the, yeah, the Five of Swords in reverse. You don't want conflict, you're trying to keep the peace, whatever. Um, Five of Wands is like, you feel like there's competition, right? There's like something else on the board here, competing for whatever it is that, um, and it's like, you almost feel like it's not worth it because you're like, I don't want to have to compete, da, 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 da. Um, that's fair. And then uh, the Six of Wands in reverse, though, is like saying that, like, you're not looking at the aspect of what could grow. You know, uh, you're not looking at um, the camaraderie that could come out of whatever path. Um, all right. And then the Strength in reverse. 
I, I have to like push these cards around because now I need to make room. <laughs> All right, so the strength in reverse, the Leo in reverse. Um, it's like feeling a sense of defeat. Um, it's like feeling like you're sacrificing yourself for other people. People who wouldn't even sacrifice themselves for you. Um, that just honestly would not. Um, and you're sacrificing your happiness for somebody. You know, not that that's like the purpose of life or whatever, but I mean, at, at some point, it's like... Like, if it's not the purpose of life, why is their happiness so important, right? <clears throat> uh, four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I, you're feeling like your foundation is kind of like crumbling here. And I see the sun in this too, and it's like also in reverse. Um, damn, you're going through some shit, bro. <laughs> You go through some shit. Uh, all right. So let's see. Then the star card, the Aquarian card. Also, another thing, the Hermit energy over here. Coming back to this, um, Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups in reverse. The Hermit card is a Virgo, or is Virgo energy. I don't know why I totally over. I skipped over that, but yeah. And so it's like by choosing if. It is a Virgo that you're choosing <laughs> um, on that flip-flop. It's like you're choosing them over your abundance, your happiness, your your development, your growth. It's like they must be really fucking important if that is the case. Otherwise, it's choosing and it could also mean that you're choosing to be alone as a result. Um, you're choosing to not co-create as a result. It's interesting. All right, so then we've got the star. Let's clarify that. King of Cups. <laughs> All right, this is true. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. As an Aquarius, I get a little like, mm hmm. But uh, yeah, no, so uh, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're in King of Cups mode. Otherwise, um, it kind of goes back to that hopefulness, right? And this like energy of embodying love, like feeling very emotionally mature, feeling. Um, abundant in love right this is which is kind of the opposite energy of what i'm reading over here with like you know the ten of cups in reverse and the hermit <laughs> it's like literally the opposite um so i put the energy where it belongs which one is you i don't know um but it's like you know if it is an aquarius that you're dealing with it could be somebody that you love very much um Interesting. Anyway, so, um, Six of Swords. Let's clarify that. likes to throw the cards right at me. <laughs> Not on the table. There's like a whole table here and it's like, no. Nah. <laughs> um, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, it's like, um, 
Should the situation arise where you choose, instead of being alone, you choose co-creation, you choose to build on something here, then um, your abundance will start coming in with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, there will be movement in your life. It's like... Um, or if they decide to create with you or whatever, put the energy where it belongs, like I said. Uh, because there's a lot of energy in this reading, it's hard to pick out your your energy. So you, you know where you belong in this, okay? You know where your energy sits. Uh, so, okay. You know what? Now, now I will... I don't like pulling other cards. You know what, I'm going to pull a couple of cards. I might not do an extended because I feel like we kind of got to the point of this whole thing. And that's kind of um, just that, you know, what you, what, if you remain in this cycle that you clearly haven't come to the conclusion with, it's going to like end up with you just like not choosing your abundance and choosing to go into hermit mode instead right um whereas all your aces kind of come into play if you get into this six of swords energy if you get into this co-creative energy and you start combining forces with what it seems like to be this star you know somebody that you see as the star somebody who is m made out of love or you are the star and you know whatever maybe you're trying to go with a 